ball size in that field, man. It was the call that has ruffled the feathers of the league's best player. It, it's 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 the call, man. Just in that moment, I mean, it's it's not even for my, myself or for me. It's just I know how much everybody puts into this game, and for it to to happen on a flag change the outcome of a game, um, in that moment, I mean, I, I've played seven years, never had that, never had offense all sides called. I mean, that's we that's elementary school. We we talk about. I mean, you point to the ref, do all that different type of stuff, and. And it doesn't get called. And if it does, you, they warn you. And there was no warning throughout the entire game. Um, and then you wait till there's a minute left in the game to make a call like that. Um, it's, it's tough, man. It, it, I mean, it's lost for words, man. It's just it's tough because regardless if we win or lose, man, just just for the, the end of, with another game and we're talking about the refs, man, it's just not what we want for any, for the NFL and for football. It negated the go-ahead touchdown for the Kansas City Chiefs. Then at the end of the game, these were the scenes on the Chiefs' sideline from the face of the league. No, I mean, that, the thing is, I'd rather let, let us play, man. Like, let us play the game. And then whatever happens, happens. Like, the whole throwing the flag and deciding the game one or another – um, that, that, that's what hurts me. That's why, like, last week I didn't say anything because it's, it's letting us play, man. Let us, let us go out there and win the game. And I said I'd rather them let us play and go out there and, and see who wins. I mean, that's what you want as a competitor is you, you practice all week to go out there and try to win. And uh, you want it to be about the, your team and that team and see what happens. You never want it to be – you don't want to be talking about this stuff after the game. And to that, we agree. To reiterate, his own player was offside. This overhead shot from Jonathan Jones really says it all. Mahomes is angry. He's entitled to be, but the call was correct. So what are we talking about here? Longtime ref Gene Steratore released these words all should heed as it pertains to the conclusion of Chiefs' bills. When officiating the line of scrimmage, general philosophy is not to be overtly technical and split hairs over very minor infractions, such as a receiver's hand slightly breaking the line of scrimmage. However, when an infraction is so egregious and obvious, a flag has to be thrown. Kadarius Tony is blatantly lined up offside and in the neutral zone. You rarely see an offsides penalty on the offense, but that is not because this play in the game isn't a foul. It is because a receiver rarely lines up offsides. I, I never use any of this as excuses, but normally I get a warning before something like that happens in a big game. Um, a bit embarrassing in the National Football League for that to take place. Head coach Andy Reid addressed the media afterwards, and when asked a follow-up on the call, here's what he said. Normally, yeah, normally, uh, if if it's even close, um, you get you get a warning. Uh, the head coach gets a warning. I mean, that normally. So I don't know. I didn't have a protractor out there, but um, it's a bit embarrassing. Look, it negated a spectacular play. However. Referee Carl Cheffers addressed the call after the game, saying the down judge saw that Tony's alignment was over the ball, and that's what he ruled on the field. Regarding Andy Reid's comment, the ref said that if a coach or receiver looks for alignment advice, officials will give it to him, but ultimately they are responsible for wherever they line up. And certainly no warning is required, especially if they are lined up so far off sides where they're actually blocking our view of the ball. Sheffers would say. So we would give them some sort of warning if it was anywhere else close, anywhere close rather, but this particular one is beyond warning. Sam McDowell of the Kansas City Star would also put it like this. This isn't the first questionable call to rob the Chiefs of a chance to win a game. It isn't the first questionable call to rob the Chiefs of a chance this month. It is, however, the first time it's prompted that kind of reaction. Truthfully, they were probably on better ground just a week ago after the no call against Marquez Valdez Scantling in Green Bay. You couldn't find an honest man in Lambeau who agreed with the absence of a flag. Tony and MVS aside, he points to a bigger issue. The Chiefs, this one, losing, ended just like the other four did. They fell behind mostly because of their own mistakes. And a team that once laughed off deficits became crippled by them once more. They have now started 13 possessions in the fourth quarter when trailing this season, and those 13 drives have produced three points. There is also an argument that I saw online. 
that was like, well, what about Von Miller? First off, questionable if he should be playing. Secondly, was he lined up offsides? From what I saw, it didn't appear so. Maybe a pinky, maybe a thumb. But let's be real about what we're seeing here. This is Patrick Mahomes being a leader and putting the onus on the referees and not on Kadarius Tony, because, you know, rule... Uh, 101, uh, the 101 uh, playbook here is you never throw a teammate under the bus to the media. I truly believe this is Patrick Mahomes expressing his own frustrations about what we have seen through this receiving core, sans Travis Kelsey, even though he's dropped a few here and there. Um, always reliable, though, of course, as we know. I believe this is Patrick Mahomes taking out the frustrations that he wants to take out on these receivers because he just doesn't have the guys that he had of yesteryears. He doesn't have the other reliable pass catchers, a la a Tyreek Hill, a la a Juju Smith-Schuster. And this is the receiving core that he has been dealt with. That he has been dealt. These were, truly, I believe this, not shots going after the referees. He's ticked. He has a right to be. Is it odd to make that call? Sure. When you look at the camera angles, it's a no-brainer. Hypothetically, if the shoe was on the other foot. And let's say Stephon Diggs lined up offsides. And uh, Dawson Knox uh, laterals to Stephon Diggs the way Kelsey did. And they score a touchdown and they call it back. Would Patrick Mahomes have this reaction? Of course not. Would Andy Reid have this reaction? Of course not. What they are seeing is the fruits of their own labor not satisfying themselves. They have put themselves in these deficits, and yet each and every time it appears that they are going to make a comeback until there's a drop or an offside call. I can sense the frustration because this is, at this point, three-plus wins that they should have that they don't. And now they are hovering on what could easily be a wild card spot for this team. Nobody expected this. The frustrations are there. It is mounting. And let me just be clear. Uh, loneliness is a terrible place to be. Everyone is piling on Kadarius Tony, and I get it. For that player, it is a sense of dread and isolation. Don't pile on. And, that, and that, that's 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 it, man. I'm not worried about if there was a flag on the next player or whatever, like not a flag. It's I just want to I want to go out there and play and then see what happens at the end, see what the score is, and then and then then we can I can live with the results.